If there is one thought that I would leave with you for this evening, it is just that simple one of, here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. That anaphon from the responsorial psalm is such a beautiful prayer. And it would be great if every morning, as we would rise from our sleep, if we could offer that very, very simple prayer. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. If we could live that spirit each day, how richer, how fuller, how more integrated and authentic our lives would be. But that prayer is such a beautiful one, so simple and yet so challenging. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. The Archbishop has asked that we share with you a reflection on our annual Archbishop's Call to Share. And so we'd like to take a few moments now to, to share this video that was provided by the Archdiocese. When you have come into the land which the Lord your God is giving you as a heritage, you shall take some first fruits of the harvest and set them in front of the altar of the Lord your God. The ministries of Catholic Charities of Northeast Kansas reach out to those in need. The New Roots Refugee Program is a four-year farm training program run in partnership with Cultivate Kansas City to help families who have been resettled in the area. Refugee resettlement is one way our gifts to Catholic charities help to demonstrate radical hospitality, welcoming newcomers into our homes and our communities. The people of the parish are filled with the desire for Christ burning in their hearts. Every home can be a place to celebrate life and family. Every sacrament and celebration an opportunity to grow in faith. Well, the idea of the family, the home being the domestic church is the way that I think of our parish, right? That you've got little churches that build to the big parish church, which then built the archdiocese church. And you want that solid all the way through. You want strong families, you've got strong parishes, you've got strong archdiocese. And all of these work together. Every vocation is a unique call by God to a life of holiness, sacrifice, and joyful enthusiasm for evangelizing those who are hungry for the tender mercy and grace of Jesus Christ. The Call to Share mission helped me personally in my vocation to the priesthood. I frankly wouldn't have had the capacity to go through eight years of school. I needed, in a certain way, the assistance of the people of the Archdiocese to achieve that which God was calling me to do. Well, modeling stewardship is really important to us because one of the foundations of being parents is that we raise children that are other-centered, and so by giving to the, the call to share, we're modeling other-centered lives. Hopefully the kids will eventually emulate that through us. We had twins years ago, and you have double of everything. That led us to going to the Wyandotte Pregnancy mm -hmm. Clinic and donating a, a bunch of our baby stuff there. But beyond the donation, we got to go into the clinic and tour it and see the real work for real people and real families. Yeah. We were able to bring our daughter with us, who was several years older than the twins, and so she got a chance to see the room filled with all the baby stuff and and ask the questions of, you know, who does this all go to? Why do they need this? Women and men who find themselves about to become parents unexpectedly can receive assistance from Respect Life programs. I feel like if I wouldn't have had Wanda Pregnancy Clinic, I mean, I wouldn't know where I would be. I really didn't talk to my mom about it because she didn't want me to have my baby at first because I was young and she went through the same thing when she was young and she was a single parent. And so she was scared and I was scared too. Ms. Geraldine talked to me and let me know like, it's okay if you need any help, I'm here for you. So I feel like if I didn't have Ms. Geraldine, I don't know where I would be right now, but she helped me a lot. I was confused on what I was gonna do, but I'm glad that they did have this for me to come to because they taught me a lot of things. We made it through the pregnancy, and now she's one year old. My daughter, she made me strong. The annual Archbishop's Call to Share helps make sure the seeds of charity and hope continue to be planted among us. God expects the best from us. In the Bible, 
there's a great tradition of setting aside the first fruits of the harvest to be offered at the altar of the Lord. The first fruits, not the leftovers, are what is undesirable, only the best for God. In the New Testament, St. Paul writes to the Corinthians, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. We live in a land of abundance. Our fertile fields are an inheritance. I ask you to invite the Holy Spirit into your life. Ask yourself, how can I thank God for his fruitfulness in my life? What gifts can I bring to his altar? Am I ready to sow bountifully? May God inflame your heart with the spirit of faith, hope, and charity. Thank you, and God bless. Over the years, our parish has been very generous to call to share, and I really want to express a word of thank you to all of you who are so generous in supporting the Archbishop's annual appeal. All of us received in the mail this past week, I hope, the information regarding call to share for this year. And I would invite those of you who have not participated to do so as well, uh, because we can all join together and make such a huge difference in the life of the church within the archdiocese in the life of so many individuals who are touched through call to share. So please prayerfully read that material and make your own personal commitment. And again, thanks to all of you who are so generous in supporting not only our own parish, but call to share as well, making so many wonderful things possible in so many beautiful ways. Let us stand now as we join in our profession of faith. Together we proclaim I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead.